Hi there, welcome to Basic Skills. Today we'll be demonstrating how to use a connector charm in jewelry making. A connector charm is a little charm here that has uh, two rings, one on either side, and it connects to a chain on two ends. Tools today we'll be using are bent chain nose pliers and wire chain cutters. We have our box chain and we'll also be needing some jump rings and a clasp of some sort to finish up the endings. So getting started, we'll take our smallest jump ring here. This is a 3.5 millimeter 20 gauge jump ring. Slightly open it up with your with uh, my finger and the pliers and loop that onto the chain. This is a nice small jump ring. It'll uh, ensure a secure, secure fit for the charm. So I'm just going to loop the charm onto there too and then close it up. When closing it up, you want to make sure that there is no gap here in between the rings and the one side is secured. So now I'm going to measure out my chain. Today we're going to make this into an anklet. So this will measure out to be about 10 and a half inches. And you can, depending on what you're choosing to make, a bracelet, a necklace, an anklet, cut your chain accordingly. So in order to get this an accurate cut, I'm going to keep in mind I'm adding a lobster clasp, which is a fair, fair size here. And I will also be adding two other jump rings. So I'm going to cut my chain at its desired length. And now this charm I'm going to want to sit in the center of my chain here. Now if you want it to be off to one side or another or one side or the other then you can cut your chain accordingly but I'm going to cut this chain right in the center so at about five and a quarter inch that way it'll secure that the charm is in the center of this chain and I'm going to secure the other chain onto the opposite ring of the connector charm. So I'm getting my small my small uh, jump ring again, 3.5 millimeter. Open that up slightly with my finger. Loop it onto the chain and onto the opposite ring that hasn't been used, and close that up. Using connector charms is a very simple way to use um, to make jewelry. They are very versatile bindings. So now all I need to do is finish up this chain so it can be a finished piece ready to wear. So I have my lobster clasp. This is a really secure uh, clasp ending. So loop, open that ring up and loop it onto my chain. Close that up. You want to make sure that the rings are secure so that way the chain and the findings won't won't break. If you use smaller jump rings, um, the the hold won't be as secure, and they might they might be a little more flimsy and open up a little bit. And if you have a small chain, then they could fall through those holes. So, keeping in mind the the findings that you're using. This is a strong chain and a very strong jump ring, so this should be a pretty secure finished piece here. Lastly, I get my my ending jump ring. This is a 20 gauge 4.5 millimeter jump ring. It's a nice size, not too not too large, but it fits quite nicely in here and it's a strong strong ring size. I'm going to close that up there and simply clasp the ring the clasp onto the end ring and you have a finished anklet with a sterling silver connector.